Have you ever been throwing something that has a vertical drop to it, that initial drop in the water column, whether it's a jig, Texas rig, or a wacky rig, and you get that follow, you get a bass interested, but they don't commit to it. That happens quite a bit. And then often as anglers, the next thing that we'll do, we'll throw right back in there, and then when that lure hits the bottom, then we'll try all kinds of different stuff. We'll hop it, we'll twitch it, we'll shake it, we'll even let it dead stick. But oftentimes, we forget about what got their attention in the first place, that initial drop. Well, in the last week or two, I've been really experimenting with perfecting the drop. In other words, I rigged up two of the same thing, got two different weights right here, trying to get that drop just perfect. Whether it's a weightless wacky and a weighted, quarter ounce jig, half ounce jig, quarter ounce Texas rig, half ounce Texas rig. And I wanted to try changing up the fall rate immediately. So when a fish is interested, but when they won't take it, I'll put that rod down, pick up the rod that has the opposite fall rate on it and throw it back in there. And I've been super impressed with the results. Just the other day I was out and I was fishing a weighted wacky rig and catching fish, having a good time with it. And then I had one that was looking at it, but wouldn't really commit to it. And I put that one down and picked up the weightless wacky, threw it back in there. That fish just obliterated it almost instantly. Oh, that's a better fish. Man, that thing was up there shallow. Just ate it too. Well, I've been finding the same thing happen the opposite way as well, as if they're following something that has a slow fall rate to it, but they won't commit. I will put that rod down and immediately pick up the one with the heavier weight, throw it in there, and often that triggers that bite. Now, as anglers, we're very familiar with this idea of a follow-up lure. Throw in a top water, we get a blow up, they miss, and then we throw something out there like a weightless fluke and they eat it right up. Well, this is kind of the same thing, but it's it's with the same lure, the same type of presentation. And I don't know about you, often when I'm already out on the water and I may be thinking, man, I should probably change my fall rate here. But it's a lot of work to sit down and break out the boxes, you know, change the weight on, the, on your Texas rig or whatever it might be. But so what I've been doing, I've been preparing this ahead of time. Now the catch here is, is I got to try to take the best guess at what I think think is going to be happening and of course sometimes it's a swing and a miss but if I'm feeling wacky rigs are going to work or jigs are going to work then I'm going to get a couple of rods ready and have those two different fall rates ready immediately and I've been so impressed with what has been happening. Well as anglers if we spend some time really trying to perfect that drop when the bass first notices the lure enter the water column, I think over the course of the day or the course of a season, we're gonna get a lot more bites and a lot more fish caught by doing this. And if you try this, I'm really interested to know how it works for you. It just makes so much sense that we need to spend some time thinking about that fall as much as we do thinking about the presentation after the lure has already hit the bottom. And hey, if you want to watch a video that talks about something I like to call finesse searching and how it's different than finesse fishing in a spot, go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.